Hey everyone, this is Paul Benedict here with the Benedict Group at Keller Williams Realty Las Vegas. It's Tuesday, July 7th, and I'm here to give you your weekly update on Las Vegas real estate. And this is a very exciting update today because we have the numbers for June. Now that June has closed out and we're well into uh, July, we have real data for the entire month of June, and most of which has been post phase two of the economy reopening here in Nevada. So great things have been happening and the numbers uh, do not disappoint. So let's dive in and talk about what's happened in the past seven days and what's happened in the past 30 days all of June. So this update will be a little bit longer as we dive into the past weekly numbers and the past month. Let's check it out. All right, very exciting thing right out of the gate. Let's talk about sales volume. So check this out, guys and girls, <laughs> kids, boys and girls. Um, at the end of June, we closed the month out with 2,836 closed transactions. That is just amazing, amazing to see. May was dismal, 2,017 transactions. Now, in terms of percentages, we are still down 20% from June of last year. But if you look at May's number, with 2017 houses closing two months ago in May, that was 44% down from the year prior. Now, it's clearly because of COVID and because of the unemployment rate, but we jumped way up and we're closing that gap from the uh, decline from 12 months earlier. So this is great news. So from May until June, from phase one reopening to phase two, lots of buyers have jumped back in the market and we're closing a lot of properties. So 2,836 have closed. That's great news. Past seven days, don't this number doesn't, dis, uh, doesn't disappoint either. In the past seven days, 838 properties closed, and that's a nice healthy jump up from the past seven-day period, which reflected 684. So that's great news there. And these are closed home sale transactions in the greater Las Vegas area. Sales price. This is my favorite number to report. This is just really cool. I mean, I've got to say, every time I talk about sales price, for the past few months after COVID, Las Vegas is like an anomaly. The unemployment rate skyrockets, half of the workforce gets cut out, and the real estate average price of a home rises. Go figure. That's Las Vegas economy for you. So what did we do? We increased from 318 in May to 329 in June. Now let me tell you how this is calculated. We look at every closed real estate transaction within the greater Las Vegas area in the valley. So there are three municipalities and the unincorporated Clark County. So the city of Las Vegas, the city of North Las Vegas, the city of Henderson, and the area known as unincorporated Clark County, which makes up the greater Las Vegas Valley. And these prices that I'm showing you here are single family detached houses only. So no condos, no townhouses, just detached traditional houses. The price jumped from 318 in May to 329 in June. Wow. Now for the past seven days, we talked about how there were 838 closed transactions Prices reflect uh, 332. So that's a slight decline from the seven day period prior. But again, if you look at the monthly numbers, we're up. How many properties are currently under contract in Las Vegas to close soon? 5,207. That's for the past um, 5,207. And that's a snapshot in time. That's currently as of this morning when I pulled the number, or rather yesterday morning. When I pulled the number, 5,207 properties are under contract with a buyer and seller, having agreed on terms and price, but has the property hasn't closed yet. How many houses are for sale? So this is current inventory. ER means exclusive right to sell. So in our MLS, that's the code for active available properties that can be purchased. So there are fewer, when I pulled the number yesterday, 6,845 than the same time last May. Now, there are several theories for why this is. The inventory is declining, and part of that reason is because some sellers, many sellers rather, are cautious to put their houses on the market in Las Vegas due to COVID. They just don't want people coming in their house. So we have a shortage of inventory, and it keeps going down. Every week when I pull these numbers, there are fewer and fewer houses listed, and that's part of the reason why prices are rising and why this is a seller's market currently. So hopefully um, a vaccine is developed soon, and sellers can feel safe and comfortable to list their houses, or else we may have a significant shortage. This is the weekly report on inventory. So every Monday when I pull these numbers, this is the number of properties, all property types, attached and detached, listed in the greater Las Vegas area. So for the past seven days, that's what we saw there. Last Monday when I pulled the number, 6,977, and you see how it's been declining. So inventory is going down. So when availability goes down, 
prices and demand seem to go up. Absorption rate. So the way we calculate the absorption rate is by taking the number of houses that are available currently, 6,845, and divide them by how many closed last month, which is 2,836. And we have 2.4 months of available inventory. That's low. The economists tell us that if we have under four months, it's a seller's market. Between four and six months is relatively balanced, and over six months of inventory is a buyer's market. So we are in strong seller's market territory. This is the weekly report for absorption. We've declined quite a bit. Now, the cash sales percentage chart that I like to talk about here. This graph shows how many, what, what percentage of closed transactions were purchased by all cash buyers. So 16% June. This is increased from May's number of 15 and from April's number of 13. So see this 21 here in March? That was pre-COVID. Lots of investors were still active. So we've been hovering at this you know, 20 to 25% range for quite a long time. And then we dropped significantly when COVID hit. Investors pulled out. And now it's increasing once again. So investors are regaining confidence in the market. All right, just a little bit about rentals. So in the rental market, the median price of a rental home in Vegas is $15.65 a month, and that's up $15 from May. So rentals are increasing in, in value, and that's a good thing. The median square footage of a rental property is 1612 square feet. The average wholesale rate reported by Freddie Mac for mortgages is 3.24%. Now, that's not the rate that consumers are getting on their mortgages. That's the wholesale rate. So each lender will add their you know premium on top of that. So... Mid to high threes is kind of what you can expect if you have a good credit score and good financial situation. And that's 13% lower than this time last year, so that's excellent. As always, I'm available to help with your unique situation, whether you're interested in buying a house or selling a property. Allow me to assist and put my 16 years of experience to work for you. Thanks for watching. Paul Benedict with The Benedict Group at Keller Williams Realty, Las Vegas, signing off. See you soon.